Hello, everyone. This is our SENS is a complete hydrogen car kit system. It consists of several parts, including a water storage tank, a gas liquid separator, and a transformer. Also, our most important component, the PEMA Dirogen Generator. The entire system operates by adding water into this tank, which then supplies water to the PEMI electrolysis cell, then generating hydrogen and oxygen gases. Then the hydrogen and oxygen gases flow from here to here, then separating the excess water and the hydrogen and oxygen gases, and inside we have an epoxy resin to absorb the excess impurities in the water, maintaining the purity of the water, and then proceed with the output. Then you can see our device from the back here. This is the outlet for our hydrogen and oxygen gases. And this one is our water level observation tube, which can be used to judge the water level, whether more water needs to be added, etc. And actually, this allows you to see them working. The bubble tube will start operating in a moment, and you'll be able to see the bubbles. Then there is this, which is used for adding water. When the water is not enough, we open this, and add water using a funnel. And this one is the drainage outlet. Opening it will discharge the excess water. Now, we will try to start it up. Let's start it up now. Connect the electricity. Then press start. Wait a moment. Okay. You can see it's now operating. You can see the bubbles starting to move in this bubble too. This indicates that it has started operating. Let's take a look at its internal operational status. You see, the operation of our entire hydrogen system is very stable and smooth. Then, the most core component of the entire device is this PEMHO generator. It might not be very clear to you. So, we have placed one here for you to see. This electrolysis cell uses PEM technology, not the traditional alkaline design of electrolysis cells. Our device only needs to add pure water. The efficiency of hydrogen production by electrolysis is also higher than that of alkaline hydrogen generator, and it consumes less energy because it is a better configuration than alkaline hydrogen generator. It uses PM's proton exchange membrane technology for water electrolysis, and unlike alkaline electrolysis cells, it does not require the addition of an alkaline liquid, which would produce corrosive alkaline mist and corrode components. The hydrogen and oxygen it produces are corrosive. Then, this one is the hydrogen outlet, and this one is the oxygen outlet and water. Because the water you add will have excess, that will be filtered out, and this is the outlet for purified water, arranged correspondingly like this. Then in this device, we have only designed a mixed outlet for hydrogen and oxygen. We didn't separate them for output. If you need to separate them for output, Remember to contact us. Our email is service at scnzhydrogen.com. And actually, in the hydrogen and in the PEM electrolysis cell, in the PEM electrolyzer, hydrogen and oxygen can be separately output. It's just because of the space here and our limited use purposes. So, we only designed it for the mixed output of hydrogen and oxygen. This is an additional component, adding another bottle, another gas liquid separation bottle. This allows for separate outputs. We can easily modify it for this purpose. Due to the design of this enclosure, the electrolysis cell cannot be made too large. If you need a larger flow rate, it would require upgrading the entire enclosure. Because the larger the flow rate, the larger the PEM electrolysis cell needs to be. And it might not fit inside this space. Secondly, this design is specifically made for use in car, so its stability as well as its structural integrity and anti-vibration performance are all very well implemented. Moreover, since it is mainly used in car, this product can operate on 12 volts to 24 volts, as most vehicles only use 12 volts or 24 volts. Our transformer is custom-made, specifically for automotive use. So, at the same time at this gas outlet, we chose to simultaneously output hydrogen and oxygen, which is more suitable for use in vehicles. Like most electrolysis cells all in one design, and it allows for easy customization of the PEM hydrogen generator. Like most PEM electrolyzer, this one has a water bottle, and water can be easily added from here. It's very easy to add water, then this one has holes, so it won't allow too much gas to enter, which could cause it to burst. Then, this is still our PEM electrolysis cell. It's fixed to this panel, 
and its height can be adjusted. This electrolysis cell is 300 milliliters per minute. If you want a larger specification, like 1 liter per minute, or 2 liters per minute, or 600 milliliters per minute, you can replace it. Then change the screws and nuts on the back, and fix it here. You see, our PEM hydrogen generator. These holes are for you to screw in and fix, and to customize and replace as you wish. Then this is the water pump, this is the transformer, and this is the gas liquid separator. From this hydrogen generator, we can clearly see, here is hydrogen, and the hydrogen outlet goes in here, because the hydrogen outlet will also carry a small amount of water. So the hydrogen outlet goes first to those. Hydrogen and water first go here, then the water flows down here, and hydrogen comes out of this outlet, then you connect the tube, and you can easily obtain hydrogen, then the oxygen outlet. Because the oxygen outlet comes with water, then the water comes back here with the oxygen to this water bottle, and the oxygen will leak out from that lid's hole, and then complete the water recovery, the recovery of excess water. Then this one is based on the hydrogen generator, each one, because the larger the flow of the cell, the different its required current and voltage. Then this is our specially made transformer, and you only need, because our transformer, its output is already connected here, you just need to connect the power source, and it can run directly. This is more suitable and convenient for experimental needs, for experimental requirements, because it has a high degree of integrated design. You don't need to configure extra parts or build it yourself. It is also very suitable for teaching or demonstration purposes, and it can easily be used for some minor part replacements. Both adding water and hydrogen output are very convenient. If you want to output oxygen separately, it's also very simple. Like here, you just attach another tube, another gas liquid separator, then connect it up and that's it. Set it up the same way as this tube, just adding a gas liquid separator in the middle. The operation is the same. Then, the application scope of this device is more for use in laboratories, or for display in your showrooms, or for educational applications. It's more suitable than the earlier iron box, because it's not transparent and not good for display. Many parts are also not easy to replace. Now, let's connect the power and get it running. Now, it's already connected. Just wait a moment, it's running again. Then, on this end, it produces hydrogen, and the hydrogen will gather and come out of this hole. And, this model is very suitable for demonstration purposes. For example, you can connect a similar pipe here, and insert it into water, or direct the jet somewhere, for a demonstration. It's very convenient, we just haven't connected it up. You can set it up however you like. So, the whole setup is like this. The oxygen and water coming out here, 